Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at three features found on the Google Pixel 8 Pro with Android 15 Beta that I hope all of the Samsung Galaxy devices would either be able to receive or adopt from the Google side of things. Now this could be either a part of the Google Pixel ecosystem or a service that they offer, or if it just comes simply from Android 15. Now the first feature that we'll cover today is the screen recording on the Pixel 8 Pro with Android 15 Beta, and this is brand new for Android 15, so I hope it just carries over into Samsung, even though their screen recorders are just completely different, which is why I'm hoping Samsung can adopt this. Now, when you go inside of the screen recording of the Pixel, you have a couple different options. You have the entire screen, which is pretty much what any phone out there does, you know, especially when it comes down over into screen recording. Samsung has a bunch of different settings over here when it comes down to, you know, your screenshots, as well as the, the screen recording. You know, you can choose what you want to be recorded for audio. Same thing over here if it only comes from the device their microphone or microphone and the device. Same thing right up over here. You can also change the video quality over here. Also, you can have your little selfie camera record you so you're on the screen as well. But the thing that the Pixel has that Samsung does not is the single app option, which is where the partial recording or private recording comes into play. So let's say that we just go through and let's just go with the audio from the device. I'm going to hit on start recording. And then from here, you can choose an application on the top or any of these that you don't have open just yet. So let's say we go inside of the whiteout survival application. And now that I chose it, it started to record right up over here. So you can see that it is recording. Now, everything that I do in this application, it's all going to be recorded. Even the sound, or I should say the media sound is being recorded. But what happens is let's say that I pull down right up on the very top. I'm looking at my little notifications panel. Maybe I got a notification and you don't want that to be a part of your video. You don't have to worry. This whole part right here is not a part of the video being recorded because the only thing being recorded is the application you chose. So let's say that we also kind of pull up over here and let's go inside of another application. So let's say that I'm looking at my YouTube studio for some reason and I want to take a look at some details, maybe the, the, the earnings or how many views I get or this page here of all the subscribers. Now, all of this that I'm doing is not being a part of the recording. And so now that we got right back into this video, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out of this. And then on the very top, I can actually just hit on stop. And then from here, we can actually take a look at the video that it recorded. Uh, right now it's processing it because it's actually taking out everything but you know the whiteout survival game. So let's say that we go inside of this video just so you can kind of see exactly what was going on. This is where I started to kind of pull down a little bit, moved it around also. And here in about you know maybe three to five seconds, this video will actually pause. And that was when I was taking a look at the notifications panel. So you saw that little icon there. This is me kind of pulling it down. And now there's just nothing going on. So it doesn't show the notifications panel or anything else, not, not even the settings. And then we went right back into the game. We moved it around a little bit. And then this is where I get out of the game again. And this is where I went over into the other application. So this is just a way that you can just have only what you want to be recorded in terms of the app or the parcel slash private screen recording. So as you know, we should be in the YouTube Studio application currently, but we kept it in this game. And now that you see everything kind of moving and jolting and tilting around, that means we went back into the game itself. When everything pauses, that means that we got out of the game. And then here you go, you can kind of see it all over again. So this is one of those really nice features where if you do any type of screen recording, you want to upload it somewhere, what it does is when you go into another application or if you pull down the notifications panel, it will actually take a look at the very last frame of that application. And that is where it pause and it doesn't go anymore. So it doesn't even show a split nanosecond of the next screen the second or nanosecond you get out of that game. It stops it at the very last frame. And now on to feature number two. Once you go inside of YouTube and you're watching, let's say you get some notifications or you need to make a couple changes with your settings. One of the things that looks beautiful on the Pixel devices is how they keep this widget right here, no matter how you are looking at your phone. This way, you can always just simply tap right back into it and put you back over into the video that you're watching. Samsung does have it right here on the very first swipe, but it's not sitting there on the second swipe. So to take a look at this, 
this again, let's say you're watching your video, we do have this little portion right here, this little section that is almost kind of the exact same. But again, when you pull it down the second time, we have this area down here that's kind of taken up with your brightness, the smart view, device control. I think it would be pretty cool if you can somehow maybe go through the editing and you can take off maybe the bottom section because you have a top middle and bottom. If you could take off the bottom section and maybe put in an option for media player, that'd be pretty cool because, you know, if you want to go back into that video, you just have to tap there. And then from here, you just pretty much have to go back and then head over back into the video. So I just think it looks a little bit better, a little bit more flawless, a little bit more mature, a little bit better looking UI when it comes down to all of the quick settings when you have this option sitting right there. Now, if there was to have one little baby, you know, change or improvement on this little widget, it'd be pretty cool if we could still watch the video sitting there. So if this little video was able to kind of be a pop-up right here, and then when you pulled it down, the UI still keeps it as a pop-up over here. The video is still playing. I think that would be very, very cool and a really nice improvement. But still, I like, even if we could just get this version over here, I would be much happier with my Samsung Galaxy device. And now on to feature number three, and this is the one that I don't believe will ever really move over to the Samsung Galaxy device, just because it is so deep into the Pixel ecosystem, but you never know, only one can hope. Also, I mean, Samsung did actually move over GoodLock onto the Play Store just a couple days ago, so hopefully they'll be able to swap a few applications, but it is their Pixel Weather. Now we're taking a look at the widget just on the home screen out of the box, and this is what you get. First off, take a look at it. The Google Pixel or the Pixel Weather, I should say over here, just looks so much better. It looks more clean, more professional. The colors are better. And not only just the colors, but everything that you see when you take a look at everything, especially if it was raining right now, the way that they have their graph going is just so much more accurate than what you would see right here. But because the rain has kind of stopped, I wasn't really able to kind of show it off. But when you just take a look at just every single thing on these pages, even though a lot of the stuff can be similar, just the way that everything looks from the, the pixel weather to the one that is here over on Samsung, the pixel weather just looks so much better. You can also take a look at everything going on with the wind direction and the miles per hour at, you know, per time. Same thing with precipitation and the humidity. Now over here, you'll have a few additional things, um, but this one's all powered by the Weather Channel, and this one is pretty much from weather.com. Now I wanna have the pixel weather over on the Samsung Galaxy device, just because it looks so much better. Now, when you take a look at all of the widgets that you have on your phone, especially even out of the box, this is the one that you are offered with. Now on Android 15, they actually changed the name from weather and they moved it to pixel weather. So if you were looking for weather on Android 15, it's actually sitting right here. Now on the Samsung phone, you scroll all the way down and this is where you see weather. Now granted, you know, the weather channel does give you quite a bit more, you know, widgets when it comes down over into what you could put on the home screen. But I'd have to state that when you actually use the, the, the weather applications, when you take a look at pixel weather versus the, the Samsung weather application given to you, I mean, they're just night and day difference. If you actually try to search for pixel weather on the Samsung phone in the Play Store, you're not able to find it. Now, even just to do a double check, I took a look for weather.com, trying to see if I can find whichever application weather.com you know, is able to give. I'm finding a bunch of other things, but I am not finding this one here specifically. Again, this one's powered from weather.com and it just looks so much better than what the Samsung devices has to offer. So those are three features that I would really love to see move over from, you know, the Google Pixel side of things over onto the Samsung side. Maybe some of these can come with Android 15. Again, the very last feature, which is the pixel weather, I doubt will move over, but hopefully Samsung will be able to revamp and update their screen recorder. So you can do partial screen recording slash private screen recording. And then also as well as with the, the YouTube notification when you're watching your YouTube videos, when you pulled it down even once or twice, you'd be able to simply tap on that little uh, media player widget and go back to the video. I just think it looks so much better. But let me know your guys' thoughts and comments below inside the comment section. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.